guys, um, this is a requested video about hand tattoos, all about my hand tattoos. Uh, it's going to be fairly quick because I don't have a whole lot to say, but since it was requested, I just wanted to kind of do it anyway, um, quickly while I have a fresh tattoo on my hand and while I remember. Um, the question was, how do I take care of my hand tattoos because they seem quite vibrant? So I'll show you my hands again quickly. Um, so I've got this one here. And then there's my moth. There's an old one there that obviously did not stick. Fingers and hands obviously are different, but um, there's my newest cover up there. And then there's this one here. So honestly, I don't really do anything with my tattoos. Um, my skin has changed since I lost weight. Um, it takes the ink a lot better. Like for instance, um, oh, let me take off my ring real quick. Okay, so this is a tattoo that's at the top of my finger here that I keep covered up until I can actually get it covered up. Um, you can kind of see it. It was a spider. It was a spider that I got with my, well, my second husband used to tattoo and he's the one that fucked me, like doing the stars, the shitty stars and flames under there and the bats that I'm in the process of getting covered up. But, um, yeah, he did the spider and it was kind of faded. It was kind of shit. So I asked to get an onk over it. So it was a red onk on a totally black background. I'll put a picture here. And obviously it faded. Did not like it. My body did not like it. This was done over about two or three times and it did not stay. Whereas this was done one time and it's thin, but it stayed. This is about the same as this and it did not stay. This was also when I was fat. So um, yeah, so there's that. This here, it's kind of faded on the outside. I had to get that touched up. Faded up here on the knuckle, I had to get that touched up. Um, the ink's kind of spread out a little bit over time as it does. Uh, I know this isn't that old, but the, the ink still kind of spread a bit. That's why the skull's not very defined anymore. Um, and this one, this one's pretty new, so it hasn't, it hasn't moved or changed or anything. Has not really faded on the outside or the inside. Spider's not faded. So everything stayed. This one here, when I got this, it was so yellow and faded, the um, the phoenix that I had underneath. So um, we missed a spot there. You can see where the, the wing needs to be filled in red right there. Uh, I can't point um, right there where my fingernail is over in the corner up here. And um, so we're going to do that, but you can't see the phoenix underneath. All I do... This is about two or three days old now. My hand was so swollen, I couldn't close my hand. I couldn't move it. But by day two, it was already fine. Um, so it's cool now. Uh, I use this stuff. Paw Paw ointment. It's basically Vaseline mixed with Paw Paw. Uh, you guys could use, I don't know, some kind of Neosporin or... Um, I don't even remember what you have anymore. Diaper, not diaper rash shit, but you know, healing type shit. I mean, since this is like Vaseline, it's very similar. You could essentially use Vaseline. I know people will say, don't do stuff like that because it'll smother the tattoo. I also have tattoo cream, but I haven't bought any for quite a while because they don't really sell stuff like that here. It's quite hard to find. And if you do find it, it's very expensive. Um, you're talking about $40 for a small tube. So, um, when you have a lot of tattoos, that kind of adds up really quickly. So what I do is, um, I just put a really thin layer, like I've got some on now and you can't, you can't see it. I, you don't smother the tattoo. It's more when it gets dry and cracked and flaky and you can't really move. Then you just put a really thin layer over it just to kind of keep it mobile don't pick at it. Don't scratch it. Keep it out of the water. Keep it out of the sun. I don't like ever go into the sun. So that 
helps me a lot with my tattoos. And this goes for hands or anywhere. I treat all my tattoos exactly the same. Um, I just wait until they're, they're scabby and then I just keep up with the cream just little by little by little every day or every few hours or whatever it needs. Um, yeah, that's really honestly about it. Uh, different people's skin reacts different ways. Your own skin might react and hold ink differently depending on, you know, I don't know, different things. Like, like I said, when I was fatter, my body did not hold ink at all, but now it does. Um, this wrist tattoo here kept spitting the ink out and now it's stayed a lot better. And I'd gotten this cover up and you can still see through it. This was gone over about three times, killed my wrist. And I mean, look at how shit that looks. The legs faded almost completely, but it didn't fade all the way. Same with this, this side. So I'm going to have to get this whole area covered up to try to hide that spider and cover it up. Um, but now I've got, yeah, I've got no issues with ink staying. It just stays just fine, but it didn't used to. So, you know, it could be that, but especially if you're, if you're on your hands, know that here, that area and here, this area, they're going to fade the most because this is, you know, anything that you move lots is, is, has a higher chance of fading and you're going to have to get it touched up in the middle there. It should be fine because you know, it doesn't really hit anything or touch anything. Same with here. I'm probably going to have to end up getting his hood touched up and maybe his wing and maybe that. We'll see how well that stays. That'll be funny if that stays because that's essentially the same area that my spider leg was on in my other hand that fucking faded. But I, I feel confident that that's going to stay. So it should be all right. And, uh, yeah, just keep it out of the water. Do not soak it in water. Try to keep it as dry as possible. Like as far as doing dishes or washing your hands constantly, um, any water and soap, use something like this or a thin layer of Vaseline or better yet, if you can get a hold of tattoo goo or any kind of tattoo healing product, that's the best. It is your best bet. Um, I knew I had some somewhere. Uh, this is what I swore by. Tattoo Tonic. You can buy this online. This was a two pack. And um, this wasn't very expensive. This was like $20, $30 when I got it. But it's uh, the oil, which is really good. And then the lotion. So that's the site there. And I'm not sure if you can still find it. Hopefully you can, or maybe you can look on eBay, but this stuff is really good. I, I do suggest this if you can get a hold of it. This is what I used to swear by because I used to be able to buy this double pack here for $30. And then of course they stopped selling it and I wasn't able to get a hold of it. So this was when I had tucked away. I don't have the oil anymore. I just have the lotion. But um, I might see if I can find it again. Uh, so yeah, hopefully these tips helped. I don't really have much information for you guys. I'm sorry, but I tried. I just I just stay right out of the sun and I don't soak my tattoos and I don't let them peel and I don't scratch them or pick them. Although I do quite often wake up in the middle of the night and find myself clawing at my tattoos, but somehow that hasn't damaged anything, which is really weird. And um, yeah, that's about it. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it helped. And I will see you guys next video. Let me know if you've tried any of this stuff. I personally prefer this over Tattoo Goo brand. But maybe that's just me. Uh, if you get a chance to find this stuff, let me know. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.